So this is the first game, right? In the correct best of five in this case. Yes, exactly. Round uh, of thirty-two, Eurashik versus Mongo Ten. Yes. So Russia versus British. Okay, so this map. I think for this matchup, uh, of course, I think it's a good map for Russia with a lot of map with a blockhouse in the near the center of the map. Yeah, exactly. You don't have that much space in the middle of the map, so early blockhouse is really good to to control the map and the middle. Um, we have to check the Hans a little bit, I think. Um, can you, by the way, can you check the, the Twitch chat, please? Yeah, sure, of course, since I'm not... Uh, yeah, please. I'm not the one with the camera. I will be checking uh, the Discord and Twitch chat. Okay, so what do you think we can see in this, uh, this matchup on this map, uh, Ricky? Well, I think Mongo Ten is going to play. Uh, is going to play in the defensive way, uh, which means booming in base because on Unsun Bay you got a lot of ants uh, in base. But I think Eurashik will will not rush early on. I think he will just uh, secure the map and and send seven hundred wood to build two block houses. Or stuff like this, and then we are going to see probably timing. So Mongo Ten running, um, uh, running out of hands and trying to push uh, the middle of the map, and uh, Eurashik trying to contain the the Mongo Ten push. Yeah, definitely. Um, okay. Sektek. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Okay. Looks like he needs to. Pick his deck carefully or something. I don't know how many decks he has in his home city. Yeah, I don't know either. Yeah, what I do like is uh, Mongo has one hand above his base and another one in the very top. And this Moose hunt is relatively close to his town center, so he should be able to herd it to the right. And then he should be fine for hunts and mines for at least the first, uh, first, first time. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, let's exactly. see, uh, Russia already picked up a 60 foot, I believe it was. Yeah, 60 foot treasure, so that's uh, pretty good for Russia, of course. But now he's going to steal this, he might be able to steal this 90 foot, if he has a crack shot. Okay, he doesn't. Yeah. And, yeah, Mongotan is a bit in trouble. Nice, Russia did it super well. Oh, no, Yurashi no. got it, Yurashi got it. Okay, <laughs> so that is a really good advantage for him then. He already got like 150 food so far. Yeah, and exactly. Let me check. Wow, for Russia it's just super strong. Yeah. Wow, it's a really great start. He's going and to have a very easy time aging up with 14 villagers. And now he also still have his crack shot, so he may take his... Okay, no, he's running the other direction. No, he's taking the treasure. He's taking the 160 the experience. Yeah, that's a great treasure also. Uh, means he can push out those shipments in the second aid very fast uh, in a row, like 5 Cossacks and then 13 Strelets or 700 Wood or whatever. Yeah. So, I like, by the way, I like... I, I would like to mention that Mongo 10 was, I mean, with less hit points than, than Urashik. So just after picking the middle treasure, he went to the top side of this of this uh, section. Yes. And so it's it's good because you know that your opponent doesn't used to go in this in this area. So so you are you are kind of safe to to pick a treasure there. So it's a good move. Yeah. What I don't really <laughs> like is how Jurassic is missing the sheep here. Um, yeah. Because. Just missed it, but of course you cannot know where they are. Um, looks like already sending a villager forward. So, oh, sorry, I flared it twice. Um, so, going to uh, build a forward blockhouse for sure. 
and I assume, let's see, uh, Mongo already got hunting dogs, and he, he got a whole um, manor house for free, though. He got 95 wood um, from the treasure in the top, and 40 wood from a small treasure in his base. So that's exactly uh, 135 wood, right? Yeah, exactly. That's uh, good by him. He's even sending three villages forward, okay, so... Really going to be pushing. Yeah, he's sending. So he wants. He wants to be fast. He wants to be fast. Mongotain, By the way, Mongotain age up is ready, ready fast. Uh, he's going to be h two at four minutes and eight seconds, ten seconds. It's super fast. Yeah, super definitely fast. A very good time. Um, Edging with a tower. Big. Okay. Tower in a good spot, I think. Not really protecting his mine, but. Uh, it is protecting his hunt, and I think that's the most important thing. And starting out with a stable, I hope Yurishik will spot that actually with his explorer. Of course, a uh, Hussar start is very strong against Russia. Mm. He should have spotted it by now. Oh, oh, look at this. There's a stealth scout. Probably. Oh, I like it. I like yeah. it. Definitely good against the raids, so uh, he's got a manor house here and he got a tower here. I like I like a lot he this this Us placement. It's it's super yeah, cool. Definitely. Super cool. So seven hundred yeah. wood first and probably five Cossacks for for Eurashik, I guess. Yeah, probably. Even more with uh, treasure experience. Yeah, five Cossacks, exactly. Yeah, there it is. And uh, yeah, they are spotted by the scout uh, because Yurishik's hero is on the left building a trade post. So, uh, but of course, Mongo probably knows five Cossack is first, so it's not too much of a deal. Uh, yeah. I like this house also against raiding on his. Yeah, on blocking. His mines yeah, his yeah. So blocking the mines. Uh, what I don't, yeah. what I don't understand. It's weird because Yurashek isn't using his five Cossacks. Okay, now, now we go. Yeah, it looks like he's going in now. But Mongo um, going around the edge of the map with his four hussars, so either doesn't want to be spotted. Yeah, I think he just wants to raid himself, maybe, or try to do a flank. Let's see what he's going to do to, with his hussars. Yeah, I guess he wants to pick some fields. Oh, six musks for Mongo, so very defensive uh, decision there. Not really... Oh, oh, did he send... Him. Okay, I didn't check second yeah. shipments. Yeah, uh, I yeah. the shipment tab open uh, on like standard, so... I can I can tell you when a new shipment's arriving. Okay, and... Wood for Yurashik, yeah, yeah, here you see Yurashik taking... Uh, the map control building exactly another block house is typical for, Going to lose for a from Eurashik. Oh, yeah. He got great code, so may, may, may not lose a villager actually. Mm, but wow, he's losing some houses, I think. And he's, yeah, he's gonna lose some houses, but he's gonna lose a lot of HP, and the five Cossacks are coming, so he shouldn't get caught. Oh, he's gonna get caught totally. Wow. Oh, this is really awkward for him. Yeah, he should have expected the five Cossacks to come back though, so I suggest he leave that one as are behind. Maybe he will escape. Okay, we gotta push, man. We gotta push. Okay, yeah. We're gonna so push him. All the Cossacks are gone, and now he's pushing out with his six musk shipment plus some musk and husk he made. Yeah, but the, the, this timing is really it's weird. Yeah, it's against two block houses, and that's really awkward. Yeah, he's exactly in the middle of the two block houses. Yeah, he's... and 13 Strelet can also. About six longbow for Mongo. Wow! But it's... here are 13 strelets, and uh, yeah, that's really awkward. Now he's gotta get out. Yeah. yeah. Six longbow shipment. Two block houses is a very strong defensive measure. The only thing Mongo has got going for him, he, he got uh, the hero of Eurashik in his base, so he cannot build a new trade post very easily. You have to buy it back. Yeah. But it's not a big deal, I think. Uh, wow. And now Yurashik... Yeah, Yurashik got this. He's got a Yurashik. huge amount of, of streetlets. Let's see units in... Yeah. Let's see if... Yeah, okay. 
Mongotan is making okay, so some yourselves. Minutemen are coming out. He's probably trying to pick off all the musketeers and waiting for Hussar to come out. Then he yeah. be fine. Poor Cossack here. Uh, only two Hussar from Mongo. Okay, that is that's really sucks for him. I think that his economy is not that great for a British player because he went really Really aggressive, uh, six musketeers, six long bows, it's not really yeah. good shipments. Uh, yeah, definitely. He should be sending 600 wood or five villagers at some point if he wants to be even ahead of Russia. I mean, let's see, the, he's got steel traps, but so does Jurashik. And they got the same amount of villagers, basically. Only three difference, but Jurashik got a trade post and a, and a trickle. Yeah. So the eco is basically the same, but now she's yeah, it's it's the, the same. So it's, it's the same. Um, See, some of wood is gonna help him build uh, some houses. Um, maybe place your mines. Yeah, there it is. Place your mines. Maybe even another barracks if he wants to go heavy on infantry. I think but that when when British sends uh, military, oh. Is that a red? Yeah, no. A little bit of a. He just clicked that go there and. Yeah. I think British is really in an awkward position right now. Uh, they st he still have this end there. And he's going to run out of airs. Okay, he's. Oh, wow! He's gonna get a villager for free because no villagers are in the town center. Oh, the four Cossack are behind him again. Yeah. So last last game it was the five Cossack shipment, this time it's the four. <laughs> it's probably it's being able to, to kill the, the two Usals in the middle. Yeah, yeah. Muscatis Muscatis is gonna kill them with his infantry mass. No wow Only one volley on, on the on the Hussar, so they get yeah. away. One and a half and now we see a new push of Hussar. And so now yeah, now Yurashik is a bit in trouble because he doesn't have a stable, so he can't produce any any Cossacks and he's losing the, the Calf battle. He's definitely gonna lose the Calf battle and with a lot of longbowmen being added at the moment, uh, it's gonna be hard to keep his Musketeers alive against the cavalry. On the other yeah. hand, he has a lot of Musketeers, so he's got a big mess still. Mm. You forget that. Very strong shipment. Uh, I would like Yurashik to start researching. Uh, to start researching um, Gangso or his mines. Uh, he's he now he's, got Gangso. Oh, place your mines. Did he? Yeah. He just okay. Did he? It like yeah. <laughs> and so. Wow. Probably. Ah, uh, I dislike this decision to make another blockhouse. You need, you need a stable man. Rushik, you need a stable, I think. Yeah, on the other hand, he can, like, deny this hunt, and Mongo is going to that hunt with a lot of villagers, just in insane amount. Oh, yeah, he's okay. Gonna spot, he's gonna spot these villagers for sure, because he, he sees the hunt running away. It's even it's funny that he hasn't spotted them yet. Um... Should be able to spot it, but wow! So working on like the same thing is happening again. The four Cossacks are going to these two hussars. <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> that's the that same story ever again. Okay, we're gonna see a battle now. We're gonna yeah, see a battle, see. and yeah, Mongotan is pushing. Okay, here we go. Is pushing. Look at this. Here, here they are coming in to get the villagers, but uh, Mongo's army is there in time. So Longbowman in a good position, the Hus are trying to find a way in. Yeah, the issue is that uh, we are in the woods, so it's really hard yeah. for you shells to for us to to yeah, find a good this spot. Is awkward. Yeah. On the other hand, the musketeers can't come in range of the longbowmen. But the Hussars also can't come in range of Eurishik's army, so both of them are forest. I think Eurashik should push now. You got yeah, this. I think, I think so. he Got this. I think he can make a good trade here. Yeah, the, 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 
I'm just not in a good position. Wow. And he's got a lot of units for a shake. And he can even pop out some more out of his blockhouse right on top of the units. And so, yeah, Mongoten is losing a lot of villagers. Uh, unit lost. He lost four villagers, yeah. Okay. He lost four villagers. I think, yeah, Yurashik, you can go, man. You can go, just kill units. You're fine. You're fine. Uh, you yeah, think... Uh, long, long here. Under the blockhouse. So those guys are just coming in to tank. That's why he probably did, did the cavalry hit point shipment also. Yeah. Not That's the main goal of Ushos. And yeah, Yurashik got this. Yeah, got this. Really this. It's super hard to break uh, Russia mass. Yeah, definitely, and also like under a blockhouse fire and with your villagers nearby. <laughs> it's just losing a lot, and there it is, the GG. GG. Congratulations, Yurashik. Of course, this was, I think, Yurashik's best civilization, so um, we shall see what he's gonna do next. Yeah, get yeah, Yurashik main save is Russia and China, um, and I like a lot what he did here. He didn't like, a, he didn't do a stupid rush, just sending all, all the musketeers batch in the TC. No, he just stayed in the middle of the map, waiting uh, that Mongoten runs out of urns. It's, it's super interesting. Yeah. Okay. So one zero for Eurasian. Okay, now we're gonna play on Arizona. Yeah, exactly. So Eura got to pick first. Yeah, Yurishi has got to pick first, and he cannot pick the Russia, of course. And, of course, this is Arizona, so... Um, so... Of, uh, scattered hunts. Mm, yeah. Every... Uh, I think on this map, Russia does really well, too. It seems that Mongo 10, by the way, <laughs> wants to pick whatever. Whatever if uh, Yurashi pick. Uh, is going to pick uh, Russia anyway. <laughs> yeah, um, well, I think Russia is a good safe on that map, so. Yeah, so yeah I think choice. too. I think too. Yeah, you're up picking ports. Mogotegin is probably staying with Russia. Um, is something going well in the chat? I mean, is everything going um, well? Yeah, as far as I can see. Not reading all the tweets yet, but I got a Discord. I uh, want to open in the stream Discord, and I see no complaints yet. So <laughs> okay. Did you update the score, by the way? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I updated the the Twitch score. Right. I mean the I mean the UI score. Yeah, Eurasian locked Portuguese, and Mongo Ten locks Russia. Okay. I'm gonna get a drink. Okay, so um, Portuguese, of course, not one of the most aggressive civs naturally, I would say. But on the other hand, they can claim a lot of uh, claim a little a lot of the map with their second town center early on, and that's going to be very good on Arizona, where the hunts are so scattered and map control is very important. On the other hand, Russia is like more aggressive with their blockhouse, as we saw last game. It's also a good choice for this this map so I'm very uh, interested in what we're gonna see here yeah um, yeah I think it's going to be an interesting matchup um, because um, I know also that Yurashik loves a lot to go for ATP so ATP, ATP builder is really strong on Arizona you got all the middle of the map mm, I think we can have a really interesting game yeah definitely <laughs> Yeah, like a Sif, I wouldn't really see here is things like Brits and um, I don't know. Oh, Brits, maybe. Mm. 
upgrades. Yeah, probably. Êtes-vous prêt? I don't know how Dutch performs on this map actually. Maybe Jerome can give some insight. Can you? Uh, they are waiting for you. Okay, do you think you can pick the American shift by the way? Yeah, 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 without any problem. Fine. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Jurassic versus Mongo 10. This is game number two. It's now 1 to 0 for Jurassic. And we're gonna hop on on Portuguese versus Russia on the map Arizona in this uh, round of 32 matchup. It's a best of five. Look, Spring Championships 2007. Yeah, so I bet for an ATP build for one of uh, of both players. Uh, if you can. Keep this trade route like for you. Then ATP is very strong here, and a stagecoach. But on the other hand, I think it's hard, like with the cliff in the middle, to gain total map control over both sides of the trade route. Uh, wait a second. So, Durashi got three Earths, and it seems no. Okay, no, no. Mongoten got also three Earths. It's okay. Well, Durashi yeah. got another one in the middle. No, no, it's okay, it's okay. It's a fair, it's a fair map. It seems for, yeah, it's a fair map for Erds and Mines. It's good, uh, it's good too, it's good too. Okay, it's a fair map. Yeah, I think it's fine. So, let's see what kind of start we have here. We have a... 100 gold starts. Good trade and a point trade, yeah. 100 gold starts. And let's just um, see what... The Treasures are we can find here 70 coin, 50 wood, 70 XP, 60 wood, scout. Okay. So, not really game breaking treasures or something, but uh, definitely some strong ones, especially the wood ones. I would like those. Yeah, Eurashik is going to pick the, the native scout uh, treasure. It's a super cool yeah. treasure. Uh, it helps you a lot, H1. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mongo Ten meanwhile is picking 70 XP. Well, um, he's getting it before his first shipment, so he's... Oh, correct! Correct! A lot than look, look! look yeah, he got, got his shipment right now. It's super cool. So, should definitely go for the trickle. Uh, wow, will he's... Give him life. Um, I don't know, 30 wood more or something this extra time. Yeah, yeah, it's it's cool, it's cool. Even um, got 50 wood here, yeah, trying to get it, but maybe Yurashik... Yurashik seems to go in straight to the treasure, so... We'll have to see if he can actually take it uncontested. Another way. Wow, we got this. this 60 wood treasure with his scout. Yeah. Now going for the 60 wood. Uh, what, what else do we have? 70 coin. Yeah, 80 food here. And, nice and there is uh, this big XP treasure for H2 if you got units. Yeah. Don't think that will be for any one of them early on. No, Just no, 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 no. Very big risk. Okay, so both of them getting a treasure, 70 coin and 60 wood. And 60 wood, of course, can help you very much if you are really going for a trade post build. Is yeah, yeah, wood treasures are super nice for, for the transition between H1 and H2. It helps you to build your market, to have your yeah. trading posts. Okay, ATP, yeah, sorry, ATP, There's okay. ATP. Yeah, as I told you, yeah, Eurashik likes a lot ATP. Oh, let's see where he uses Spyglass. Oh, just on a random spot. But it looks like Russia also going for a trade post here. Um, I think Eurashik is going to send Vils to build TPs. Yeah, he's, he's sending one Vils. Sending a Vils here 
here, but might also be for Verge, but no, I guess it's for the... I think it's for the it's last... For the... Yeah, for the last train. No, it's for the... Hunt. No, no, yeah, for, for, for the... So, not going to be like super crazy on the trade post, just gonna build... Oh, he's going to build a second TP. Yeah, he is. Wow. Okay, that is gonna get scouted by this. Well, maybe not actually. Maybe the scout is there too early. Um, yeah, he's gonna get it scouted. So, Yurshik knows he cannot go there and build a trade post. Take down the hero. Or slow it down enough. Yeah. Lockout is coming up here, so this is really interesting. That wow. The will go up. Okay, so. Your six down center go. I think it's going to be hard for Yurashik right now because Mongoten is. is Yeah, Mongoten got. Oh! <laughs> okay. Oh, we got it with his yeah, yeah. Insane. Insane. Yeah, that is very nice by him. Now Mongo has got a lot of wood, um, which he cannot use immediately, so he's gonna build a market. Yeah, nice. It's yeah, it's super nice decision, he's adapting to to the situation. But I I think your rush position right now is a bit awkward because Mongo 10 got one TP and is going to to take the line, I mean to take at least this TP thanks to the block house. On the other hand, it's got like this ranged attack, so it's not super easy to get it li like with only five musketeers or something. No, 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 no. no. Of course, of course. But still, still, you can rush a bit, and then when you got a decent mass, you just take down the TP. Yeah. And your rush decides for it's interesting for defensive TC. Yeah, it's gonna get a little bit like forward. Um, yeah, he's securing the mine. I think. Wow. Yeah. Okay, you should have paid attention to that. That was really not necessary, I feel. And maybe another one. Maybe another one. Yes. He's going to lose another one. If he's gonna scout it, then... Oh. Just not. Okay. So that villager's safe for now. That villager who built a trade post earlier on. He's gonna live the day. Luckily, this trade post only got like 8 range, so... I think the units that pop out of the blockhouse are fine. They are not gonna get shot immediately. Yes, yes, yes. The, the position is, is nice. Location. If damage is like... It's enough to hurt a, or kill a unit. So. Yeah, especially when you make musketeers. Uh, so he's hurting away this, this, this hunt. Like, it started all the way out, out here, I feel. Um, but hurting it all the way back into his base, so in the long run, it's going to hurt Jurashik. For now, he's fine. Yeah, actually, he's still got three airs one, two, and three. Yeah, definitely. So. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, I don't like Jurashik, uh scout here, which, which is totally FK. Should be in stealth there, maybe. Uh, could yeah. Be useful. Stealth close to the, to the block house, something like you, you have your... Yeah, on the other hand, there's the hero, so he can scout that scout. <laughs> but if <laughs> scout the scout. Stealth here, then... Ah, here we go. He can also like, know when to raid, so... now. And you're actually getting a stable. Yeah. yeah. But Maybe, Mo Mogoten is going to... Oh, oh, he's got crazy goat, so he's fine. Yeah. Based. But Mongoten got the information right now that Yurashik uh, got a stable. Yeah. And on the other hand, Mongo got no units other than those four, four Cossacks still. Um, yeah, this is funny. He's even adding a stable. Yurashik is too scared to actually push in or even age up. Yeah, I, I don't know what's doing Yurashik. He doesn't have that much resources. He's probably trying to go H3 yeah, also. Uh, yeah, Mongoten is H3. And Jurashik is not. Well, he could have been H3 easily, of course. I mean, he's Portuguese. Um, yeah, it's, it's kind of funny to see. 
yeah, it's it's funny to see <laughs> Russia H3 before before ports. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, on the other hand, Jurasic is now rushing to H3. If, as you can see, he's got almost all his villagers on food. Yeah. Going to get uh, that 1200 food. In. Going for fast HM probably. He traded another villager here, uh, the one villager, um, against the Cossack. So only Mongo ten, Mongo ten going. He's going bull riders, by the way, as you can see. Oh, cavalry archers. And wow. And Oprishniks, yeah. That are going to do great damage against the trade post, so yeah. that trade post, all those trade posts are going to go down, definitely. Feel like cavalry archers and Oprichniks and Cossacks are going to be very weak against the goon mess that may come of Yurishik. He's already got a stable. He's now going H3. Yes. Yes, you are right, you are right. I don't know why why he's starting Bo Bo Boashe, yeah. Rider. Okay, so going to get another trade post, just gonna kill them all. This uh, scout did can see everything coming from the town center and from the stable, so it's good for him. And now we have two falconets and his army is mainly anti cavalry and he got two falconets, so he's ready to push out. On the other hand, Jurisic has got absolutely nothing. He's got five military units, and what will his shipments be? Five yeah, I, I, I don't, I don't understand what happened to Jurisic macro. I mean, he hasn't produced any any military units, and he doesn't have that much uh, that much village or that much economy. Yeah. And he even doesn't have that many uh, upgrades. No, no, neither, neither. Uh, only he's got steel traps. But the, these goons are going to do good damage. The Oprichniks are down very f fast. And if he doesn't look out, he can even shoot down some Falconets. I think I think Yurashi should try to kill the Falconets. And Mongoten, Mongoten is, is yeah, taking yeah. the TP line now. He's building yeah. TPs. I think it is upgraded, so it's a very good choice to take. Yes, it's really interesting to see in this game how Russia is not rushing uh, at the opponent base. They just try to starve their opponents. Well, and not not even starve. I f feel, but more like uh, he's getting even more ego by the trade post and such. So, I mean. Yurishik is fine in terms of hunts, he, he's getting this one closer to his base and he's got plenty in his base, but he's just gonna gonna get more ego. And Yurashi decides to, to go for 1k gold? Maybe Mamluks? Yes. Perhaps Mamluks on the other hand, if you look at this army, I don't know what Mamluks are gonna do. I mean, yeah, ne me, me neither. Neither. Kefir has got melee resist, so... Not going down that quickly by Mamluks, on the other hand, yeah, Falconets are anti infantry, so. And like 1k wood for, for, for Mongo 10. They just got super, super uh, in defensive playstyle. Yeah. It's really interesting. But 1k wood, yeah, another blockhouse is going to be added. Uh, maybe he's even gonna add an arsenal no, or. Maybe a town center or another stable for more cavalry archer production. Yeah, I would like Mongoten to have another town center right now. Uh, don't forget that Portuguese with three town centers rolls really fast. Okay, so what is happening now? Yurishik got a lot of food in his bank and almost no gold. He's, he even doesn't have placer mines yet. Now doing gang saw should definitely go for placer mines. Even Mongo got it. Yes, yes. Military right. population. Uh, have it's, you it's seen weird. if he sent Mamluks or not? No, no, he hasn't. He hasn't. Okay. So where has that 1000 gold gone to? Let's see what is in queue. Units in queue. Uh, uh, uh. Casadors and Dragoon. 
Also, also Mongo Ten just cheap. Okay, five mam. Okay, yeah, four mam looks. Four mam looks. It seems. Strelat combat. Strelat combat. So, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Anti goon uh, units, and of course Strelats do well versus goons. So these Strelats are actually pretty uh, decent right now with the Federal upgrade. Only thing that should be better. And is we we, we got we got the push here. We got the push. Okay. So. But I'm not. I'm not Let's a big see, fan. Uh, just a... I'm not a big fan of your rushing composition. Yeah, it's mainly goons, and of course he should have known that Strelats were gonna be added at some point. Yeah, he wants. He knows that you. Uh, he, not, he knows that Mongoten got a lot of cavalry. Uh, I mean, bow riders. So bow cavalry. So you you want to have more casados. At least at least enough casados to to one shot. Uh, uh, one bull rider. Maybe I would even like to see an artillery foundry added. Yeah, yeah, you can. I mean, he can later use to make some organ guns. On the other hand, it's a big investment, and he doesn't really have a lot of wood, even he, though he's got 16 villagers on wood. So. The thing is that um, Mongo Ten got this head yes. and. He's checking this head, so right now Eurashik is running out of airs. Yeah, he finally is. He's got uh, some berries in, left in his base, so he should be able to get some food from there. But later on, he's going to have to switch to mills, which is very awkward. Yeah, it's super awkward. You want to 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 push before this situation. Uh, look at Mongo Ten's score. It's, it's really awesome. And he's adding some some Usos, okay. He's probably going to push now. Yeah, he's going to push now. Okay, now I like a lot. I like a lot of Urashi composition. You got enough Casados, you got Usos, Dragoons. Dragoon combat is here, so we've got now 30 attack and 280 hit points. Wow, look at this trade. And Dragoon combat also increases Hussar. Okay, so this is a good push by him. Killing a lot of villagers actually. And killed some cavalry units. Yes. Didn't even start on the block out. We are getting to have a battle here. Uh Jurassic wow wow. Is is he going to lose a oh, well, look? Not oh, sure. Yeah. And Luke's taking some shots. Oh and they got a lot of HP. Okay, so the whole cavalry of yours, you can in a great position right up the strelets and can even go to the falconets. Yeah, so Jurassic, Jurassic positioning is better. Yeah. Though is going to lack, is going to lack some, some cavalry. I think. Not sure. And right now, the cavalry archers are right on top of the cavalry. They have got the melee resist, and he got plenty of strelets left. Yeah. Those units should be going to the fight definitely. So that's a bit awkward. Don't forget he's killing off some villagers here. Wow, yes. Okay, uh, so Mongo, I think, in a good position here. Got a lot of strelets left and got like 10 more units coming in here. Should be really adding them. They're very idle. Yeah, I think uh, that's a good position. Yeah, Mongoten is definitely in a good position right now. Um, has, uh, a villager uh, advantage, on the other hand, he is just chopping wood. He's right now on 2000 wood. Oh, he sent a church upgrade. So he's going to add like the huge batches of... Oh! Yeah, yeah, he's going to add to add Bisterios. Yeah, he's chopping for, for wood. Yeah, he's chopping, chopping for wood. And here we go, man. Here we go. He didn't even have the second food upgrade. Now, Enco Mincha Manor is coming, which increases the mill gathering rate by like an in insane amount. Yes. It decreases all the other. Um... He doesn't have any other any other possibility. He got to go mills right now. He's going to lose another wheel again. What it 
does exactly. Portuguese. Um, plus 20% male gather rate and min minus 5% gather rate for all other types. Yes. So that is worth it if you need a lot of milling, which he's gonna do now. So it should make the transition a little bit easier for him. The last card he's got is the one with elf black riders, but you can only make that in the fourth age, I think. Yes, you can only, only research it in the fourth age. Usually with, uh, except for Ottomans, you have one card H4 uh, in the church card. I mean, you have one shipment H4 with a church card. Sorry, what were you saying? Um, yeah, I'm trying to see what I'm doing right now. And uh, this hunt is going to be the next fight. Uh, we see a town center right next to it, but Jurisic is trying to hurt it towards himself. If you look at the military population, yes. Russia is just insane. On the well, toilets. Russia got 200 pop, so yeah, he's, he's going to push, he's going to push. He can't yeah, even he produce needs villagers. To push. <laughs> he needs to push to, to, uh, to kill military units to to make more... Uh, yeah, to trade, so. yes. You see, definitely and Besteros are really strong. Yeah, let's compare. Oh, he's still doing infantry breastplate, so he wants to start this fight a little bit until he's got the upgrade. Um, okay, take search. Still, still take another like 20 seconds, so it's a bit awkward. Not a falconet being added by Mongo. Okay, I didn't realize he's got an artillery foundry. I can actually not find it also. Where's the artillery foundry bay? By Mongo. Okay, so this Falcon net are, is gonna get shot down by the goons on our hands. Yes. The goons are taking so much damage from the Strelets. And now look at Besteros' work job here. He's just cleaning yeah. all the cavalry. Wow, they are so strong. HP. That's definitely great. 24 damage. If you compare it to the Strelet damage. They're really doing great on the other hand. He's lacking the mass and lacking the resources. He's only got seven villagers on coin and those are here. That's his last coin mine. Yeah, he's make basically he's making his transition to mills, so it's hard for him to to Wow, Besteros again. Yeah. I like that this decision. Yeah, the Besteros are great. I mean he doesn't need any gold. And he doesn't have access to any, only 400 left here, and the next mine is going to be here. But a town center getting added right next to it. It's yeah. just hard, very hard to break. Look at where Mongo is gathering on the other hand. And Mongo 10 is in trouble right now. Uh, I mean, you actually got a far more villagers. Uh, let's see. Uh, got, yeah. yeah, you actually got kind of, Yeah, I got 90, 90 villagers. Mongo 10 got 67. Uh, is just far behind economically. Yeah, but he is he's still gathering from natural resources. Um, and he's got four trade posts with states coach, so you should take that into account. What if just like 15 Cossacks pop out from Mongo now? Yeah, he needs to go yeah. Cossacks. He needs to go Cossacks. Definitely needs some Cossacks. Strats are not really being very cost effective here, I think. No, 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 they aren't cost effective at all. Oh, two organ guns. Wow! But, Mongo then. Mongo in the fourth age. Yes. And let's see what cards he's got access to. Only got two factories, so no heavy cannon shenanigans. And Russia, Russia H4 is really, really scary. Let's see what he's doing. Guard Stranets, he's adding. Um, Yet. It's got Ego Fury, so uh, two Falcons he aged up with. And so many Bisteros. Um, yeah, so many Bisteros. I wonder what happens if Cossack pop out now. Let's see military units in queue for Mongo. Only Strelets and Cafe Archer still. I like this move a lot, by the way. Uh, it's, it's going to, to annoy you a lot, Eurasic. Oh yeah, but Northern Pastero is popping out right on top of these toilets. So oh yeah, yeah. Take down 
too many villagers. And all guns are doing so yeah, much damage. Is okay. Two yeah. Falconets. It's two Falcons. Falconets are oh, Falconets, Falconets are burging, man. Oh, oh. Falconets burging out. Yeah. Can't get a shot off at the organ guns. Oh, yeah. One Just one. Down now. Wow, but, but down too. Well, one of them. Okay, Mongoten is Mongo. is finally yeah. winning this. Yeah, Mongoten is winning yeah. this actually. Mongo is winning this with his guard strelet upgrade. He's got almost the same stats as the Vice Heroes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks to and to Boyard, mostly. Yeah, strelets are cheaper. But let's see. And I think he's right now. Well, you actually got 20 more wheels. Okay. Only gathering wood and food. As you can see, he's gathering zero coin. He's just building now his first plantation. He doesn't have mill upgrades. Okay, that's awkward. Uh, doesn't he? Only food and, 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 and wood. You're not gonna get any any sort of uh, anti cavalry that way. And he, he isn't planning on building anti cavalry. No, not at all. It's just none. If Mongo switches to like 20 cost or, or maybe 30... Which yeah, I, I, I don't understand this choice. Just go Cavalry, Mongo. Just go Cossacks. I hope he's upgrading it in the back. Let's see. Text completed for Mongo. He doesn't even have veteran looks like yet. Okay. Well, I think Mongo's go back. Mongo goes back right now and try to, to produce... Well, I hope. Mongo, you got 1k gold, man. Yurishik basically got no gold income. I mean, only one plantation without upgrades is just not gonna do any work. What I like though is that Mongo 10 shipped uh, as soon as possible the two factories, which is a super nice boost. Yeah, he's got them on one on food and one on the standard coin. Mongo not really struggling with resources yet, neither is Yurashik, but Mongo is an age ahead and still got coin income. Yeah, Mongo got the map, he got two factories, he's age 4. I, mean, I would like to see Mongo actually gather this mine as quickly as he can, because he might lose that part of the map later on. Yeah, yeah, agreed. agreed. Wow, it's, <laughs> it's... I've never seen this battle lasting it's... that much. It's, it's like best of us versus Trailhead. <laughs> yeah, it's an H4 25 minute <laughs> into the game battle. All <laughs> Strelitz versus Bastion. That's everything they got. It's like <laughs> no cavalry. Really it's, it's like, it's, it's, it's like, wow, yeah. It's like a okay. Colosseum game. Look at this, four horse cannon. He's cho choosing horse cannon because his artillery farm is all the way back here, probably. And now can do a lot of damage against Pasteros. Yurishik has got no no coin. Like, he's got 200 coin, but he's getting like so little. Yeah, yeah, it's plantation. He's not going to kill these, these horse guns, except he's going H4, and then he can ship the Black Riders, which should be able to do some damage. Oh yeah, yeah. But I I don't think he's planning to go H4 anyway because he's lacking lacking gold. Or maybe is he? Yeah. I... Actually, no, no, no. No, no, he doesn't go H4. He's... He is going H4. You sick? He's almost H4. Look, now he's. Okay, I see. Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. Oh, I, I didn't pay attention. What is? Okay, yeah. So <laughs> he is H4. Uh, where, where is the other TC? Okay, so the upgrade he's going for is called Order of the Tower and Sword, and it costs 2,000 wood. Um, yeah, a little bit of a problem, let's see. Text being researched, no he's not doing it yet. So he's definitely waiting for the food 2,000 wood. It's just on wood. He got log fume. Yeah. On the other hand, Mongo is like killing off his base, so I don't know if he's able to. Oh, adding girlfriends. 
So if if those black riders pop out now and the girlfriends are on top of the horse riders. Boosts? Yes, it's going to be nice for Yuashik. It's going to be nice for Yuashik, but he lost a lot of a lot of buildings. He lost the map a bit. Oh, two horse cannons down in the first volley. They were right yeah. each other. Yeah, and now, and now yeah. <laughs> okay. Wow, conference, that is, yeah. That's brutal. So not even uh, black riders yet. Oh, uh, let's see what's happening. In, what's happening in in Mongotin? Mongotian base uh, got got all all villagers to factories. He got, he got a very good eco. Um, Yurashik is a bit in trouble because he doesn't have shipments to send. Uh, wow! Look at this man. He's okay. No, 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 no. I yes, I just misclicked. Yeah, Yurashik doesn't have a lot of shipments to send. <laughs> Veteran Obrichniks. Yes, that's why Rusha H4 is scary. Dobbush Fittagers just escaped in time. Mm, no, 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 no. Wow, wow. The big group is moving away on time. On the other hand, he can just kill off these mills in like a few seconds. It's so lame. Yeah, it's super lame. It's fair. It's a tournament game, so. He's overwhelming, Yurashik. Yeah. Wow, it does. Three girlfriends. Oh, look at this. Yes. They cannot go down, but they've got so many HP, so. He might even be able to make a, a healer um, on his church so he can heal up the, the cannons. He's already got the church. Oh, look at this. This is so lame. Okay, let's see. A villager's unit. And like. Also. Yeah, it's insane. Nine in <laughs> 59, 60 now, wow. It's I so lame. I looked at it before the Hopfrecht Nix went in. I don't know how many he lost right now. Mongoten researching the last uh, trade wars upgrade. He got a big economy. Okay. Mongo got a huge economy, but Yurashik is still. I don't know, he's surviving very well. Mongo's got a lot of units, a lot of resources stacked up. I sh think he should be upgrading his plantations, he's upgrading his his mills. He's well, right now he's, he's, I mean, focusing on keeping Eurasian busy and killing this. Wow, it's GG, man. You, can th you cannot survive oh, from this. Wow. But this is so scary. If if Mongo just makes Cossacks, like he can easily make 30 of them, like like that. He's got cavalry training speed upgrade. He well, to be honest, enough infrastructure. He's got resources. To, yeah. It looks like he's trying to go five or something. But this is that is not a good decision against such a huge army. You should find. Mm, yeah, he should, he should go back. He should go back. Now your rushing economy is terrible, so you just need to play time. Yeah, if he's trying to rush a new age. He's got 4,000 wood, why? Oh! Look why at this, know? we got the church shipment. Oh, wow! Man. That is wow. what he was waiting for. Yes! Okay, I didn't actually... Bashkir! Now it's... Uh, Let's see, the Russian... Bashkir ponies, he even got comics. Do, does he. Has he sent comics yet? Wow. And should be able to send grenadiers. GG. Okay, GG. That was a nice game. Yeah, definitely. Very interesting. And uh, very exciting. I don't think it was too back and forth, but it was very exciting to watch. Wow, that H4... <laughs> that H4 Australians versus Crossbowman. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> 25 minutes. <laughs> wow. Um, so let's check Russell's Gathered. Uh, wow, Russell's Gathered were pretty the same all the game. Let's 
let's see at resources gathered. It was pretty close. Mongo was ahead all the time, but it was pretty close. Military unit count. Yeah, you cannot really make anything up from that. Villager population. Oh, <laughs> that's yeah, cool. villager population graph is very funny. You can also like compare the resources gathered graph and the villager population graph. And like at the same time, they both go down. Yeah. All resources gathered. Yeah, it's. Hold on a second, I got to take something. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, that was game number two in this best of five between Mongo 10 and Eurashik. And this is the round of 32. Uh, so, the winner of this best of five is going to go to the round of 16, which is already pretty far into the tournament. And um, this is the ESOC Championships 7 2017 tournament. And this time, Mongo 10 will have to choose a civilization first on this map, Malaysia. Um, let's just see what kind of map that is. Again. Oh, yeah, that's this one. Of course, the one with the waters on both sides. Um, are you here yet? Okay, I guess not. Um, hey, sorry. Here I am. Hi. No problem. Um, can you make me a little bit louder? Oh, okay, sorry. Uh, I think you are at max. I think you are at max. Then... Uh, I think it's... Perhaps I guess... you can make all the... No, no, yeah, yeah, I think it's better a now. Bit higher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's better now. People requested that I got a little bit louder, and maybe the game sounds also. So if you're using OBS, you can just turn off, turn on all the external volumes, and leave your own microphone volume the same. Yeah, I think that. Then it should be fine. I'm already at max at both. Or both. Okay. Uh, but I, I think it's better now. I have, I have improved. I mean, uh, the sound is louder for you, and for the game. Okay. Well, we shall see. Um... Yeah, it's a few people are asking that I'm louder. So if it's working, then we should know it in two minutes so so mongo has locked japan right i Seems. think he has locked into it he didn't green up yet but um okay chinese now he's he's picking we can give him a little bit of time. no 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 yeah yeah let let's let give him a bit of time um he's still gonna choose trying to choose something. Malaysia, let's see. Um, haven't, I don't know if I've casted that map before, so. Well, the particularity of this map is that uh, town centers are really close to each other, uh, but the yes. map is big. The map is big, it's a really big map because there are some, some water parts. Yeah, Townsend is really close and Hunt's a little bit scattered. Uh, China might actually Big here, yeah. Uh, Mongo did, didn't lock yet, right? Okay, Mongo green up. Okay, et vous prêt? Okay, for anybody tuning in now or who just tuned in, it's now one to one for Yurishik uh, versus Mongo 10, and we're now clicking into the third game. Uh, German versus Chinese game on the map Malaysia 
And uh, this is, of course, the round of 32. So whoever wins this is going to go to the round of 16. And um, yeah, thank you all for watching. Uh, we had two great games. At least they were exciting. And yeah, I like to go. So now we're going to go into this third game. Let's see what we are going to have here. Um, Germany and China. Let's see. The town centers are indeed quite close to each other, and they're not like a lot of hunts for each player. No, 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 no. You don't have that much hunts close to your base. Um... I I wonder where Mongo is even gonna get food because this herd is. It's like it's, it's like Tibet. Yeah. It's like you got one hunt here and one one hunt here for both players. So it's like Tibet. Uh, you can you can have it at, at the range of your TC, but not not much. Yeah, the hunts are very awkward since you have these three walls, and behind the three wall is uh, the hunt. I think and yeah, one one gold mine is missing. For who? For yeah. On this side of the map. On the north side, you mean? Okay, well, we do a quick rehost and then. Uh... <laughs> Third game again. Yes. I'm thinking, by the way, the next. Matchup is already in like half an hour, isn't it? Yeah, uh, because the series started late and uh, the second game lasted a lot, uh, we are a bit uh, running out of time. Okay, so we should see some rushes. <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the ESOC Spring Championships 2017. This is the round of 32, and we're now one. To one into a best of five. So um, this is the third game, and we're going to see Jurashik versus Mongo Ten, uh, Russia versus Germany, um, Germany versus Chinese game. Um, yes. These hunts. Okay. Very awkward. Yeah, we need, we need them. to. But it's not worth a rehouse, right? No. Is it? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, we, we no, need to work. It, it's, not, it's not playable at all. It's not this playable is... at all. The issue of this map is that it's the map is always fair. So the map is perfectly symmetrical. It's random and symmetrical. But I totally okay. agree that uh, I, need, I need to fix this. Uh, sometimes the, the, the second head is, is a bit far. And it's, it's annoying. Yeah, it's, it's totally my bad. I take the entire responsibility of this. Okay, so this map needs a little bit of fixing maybe later on. Yeah, yeah. The second, mostly it's the second hand, which is not always optimal. It's okay if the map is aggressive, but at least you need to have uh, your second hand close to your base. Uh, can you come? Yeah. Is it better, by the way, the sounds or not? Uh, I heard that it's better. Yeah, that's what I'm reading. And third time, it's a charm, and we're going to hop into this Isok Spring Championships 2017 Eurasic versus Mongo Ten on the map Malaysia. And uh, right now we are uh, have seen two games, so this is going to be the third game. And it's one to one, so very exciting. I I pray Looks God, like, I pray God is going to be okay. <laughs> Looks like the hunts are a lot better now. Both of them have got two hunts in front of their base, um, which is of course awkward, but it's fine. It's fair. I mean, yeah, it's okay. Both it's okay. them to mine, so it's okay. We can continue, and um, we're going ah. to hop into this game. I I don't know if you see it, but the map is like very. The middle point, the middle point of the map is uh, is a symmetrical point, 
So for instance, you can rotate all the mines. Uh, I, I I don't know if you if you get it. Uh, yeah, I see. It's, it's like it's so it's it, it's fair. It's fair, but sometimes uh, the the script uh, makes earns a bit far from your TC. Yeah, I see. Okay, so we are ready to go into this game, and what we are going to see here: this is China versus Germany, and China has got basically no uh, second age uh, options, right? I mean, you can send shipments and you can do consulate stuff, but in general, it's not really something that you see uh, at all. Well, and I think we, we, we I think we need to take care about this uh, this uh, this kind of affirmation. I think that China can have some decent age to play. Um, I don't know if you have seen Cuprider posts in the forum where, where I showed that um, the top Chinese player played a lot of semi-fast fortress builds and he actually reached like 2,700 two, uh, and, and yellows thanks to this build. So Okay. Um. I actually haven't seen that, I believe. Um, but, yeah, we're going to have to see what his deck is going to be. Uh, on the other hand, Germany has got some second age chances, but are also just very strong. Uh, by the way, Yurashi found 40 wood, so it helped him a lot to, to build the, the TP Holyhorn to have the house. It's a really nice, really nice start. In the same time, Mongo Ten picked 90, 90 food, uh, which means it's going to to help him to to age faster and also 30, 35 wood right now. Yeah, thirty five wood. So that's a nice start to get his village up. Um, yeah. Oh wait, got... he's already chopped the wood, so he just got forty wood. In oh the yeah, now. yeah. Um, of course the. Cows, water buffalos actually are going to be very important in this, in this game because the village this uh, Mongo has. The village fattening rate is decreased for Chinese in the EP. Yeah, correct. Much. Correct. But it's still very good to have buffalos for you and uh, you should definitely try to gather them. Okay, so here's the three villager shipment from China. Um, so let's see, okay, they are probably going to age at the same time, I think. Mongo 10 a um, bit slower, of course, because he's playing China. Yeah, and Germany has got this two settler wagon uh, shipment, which is basically for settlers, and that's, of course, a very good shipment for him. Um, let's see at the... Uh... Well, what I wonder is that I see Yurashik going to the mid to the bottom of the map maybe in order to take the, the second TP soon perhaps uh, or just scouting for treasures and buffalos yes we know. okay Mongo's deck uh, we can see it now um, yeah so not really yeah, it's really standard it's really standard yeah it's standard um, infinite 300 wood interesting I dislike, by the way, the fact that it doesn't have uh, the wood crates H4. I mean, one one thousand and six hundred uh, uh, wood is really big, really really nice, really really nice uh, card. Yeah, definitely for upgrades and such. Okay, sixty-five coin getting here. Yeah, not really too much interesting stuff going on. Hunting dogs. No uh, tech being research. So we see Mongo Ten is using three fields to build is uh, to build his wonder. Uh, in the same time, Yurashik is building a market with hunting dogs and place mines. Um, Mongo is building his wonder with a lot of villagers, by the way. He's got five villagers on it. Um, so he's rushing to the second age and. Uh, Ahead to the second age, like 
45 seconds from Eurashik. Yeah, Mongo 10 is really fast. 4 minutes and 45 seconds, it's fast for, for China. So, very good time for him. And now probably going to see the normal uh, food gathering and coin sending. Yes. Are we able to actually do a lot of damage to this hero? I don't know where his monk is. Oh, so, his disciple is here, actually blocking the stable. Wow, okay. Wow, it's going okay, to delay a lot. That was no, no, I no, don't definitely think it was not. Intentional because no, no, no. Normally you don't build your stable like so in front of your base also. But that was a very good move. Um, I'm glad I just caught it. And losing his uh, hero here, so... Yurishik is... Doesn't I would the most easy start right now. No, definitely not. He also not getting the, the disciple with his two Yulan. Correct, correct. This is what I would like to, to have seen. He's but... No, Mongo is not losing the villager. Euro, the villager. Okay, so Mongo is doing really fine here. Not losing a villager, killing the hero. Uh, playing the stable. The stable is still not made, so maybe um, Yurashik cancelled it. No, no, he switched. Uh, I think it's a good decision. He decided to to not build any Yulans because it's too late and just skipping. Uh, I think if you look at chip and cent. Uh, he's probably going to send 700 wood and just uh, uh, adding another shipment for, for H3. So, okay, yeah, 700 wood, 700 wood. 700 wood, there it is. And but he, he, he cannot build a trade post, so that's awkward for him. Yes, but he's, uh, by the way, he's aging with uh, skirmishers, which is weird. Yeah. Uh, right now, the, um, what's Confu Confucian Academy? Yeah, Confucian. I, I, I don't know how uh, you pronounce it. And uh, yeah, going to be the skirmisher upgrade. And meanwhile, Yurashik is just uh, aging up himself, but not by sending gold shipment, but by gathering with his big villager shipments. Yes, so yes, yes. Villager show. I like a lot. Now his uh, stable was up. Oh, you adopt. We adapt to, 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 to the situation. Uh, yeah, definitely. It was, it was nice. Nice choice. And he's going to lose the monk? Is he? Is he? No. No, no, no. No. Just not. No. And soon it will have more HP, so it would will be fine again. And he's got some anti cavalry Oh, losing a villager. Okay. So losing we'll a villager. Lose. But right now, uh, you're actually... One Yulan down? Yeah. One villager versus one Yulan. Mm. And the rest of the Yulan are on half health, so they are yes. all in a great shape. But uh, Yurashik knows that uh, Mongoten aged up with the skirmishers. He got the information, so he knows that economically, Mongoten is not going to to have big, big amount of, of resources. So it, it's it's a nice inf it's a nice information for him. Okay, so it looks like. Mongo scouted out that uh, bottom trade post, but of course nothing is happening there. No villager sent to it. Yeah. One thousand coin for Eurashik now, so going to get a big mass of units out, or might try to send a mercenary, but I don't think that that will happen. Yeah, it's it's, it's a bit weird. Uh, I like to go as Germany, seven hundred wood, one k wood. It's a bit like Dutch. You you need a lot of you need a lot of wood uh, H three. Yeah, for your houses you need a lot. And, uh, so Mongo ten going for. Let's uh, see what market upgrades he has got. Steel traps, place your mines. Mongo ten is is trying to take down the TP. And he will probably succeed in that. Uh, the skirmishers won't really be there in time pick for him. Of course, Germany shipments in the third age. Very scary. Yes, yes, yes. I would like to see Durashik upgrading his Yulans. 
Yeah, I think he will do that once he's got the wood. Right now he's. Uh, that's why you want. He's got some settler wagons. Yeah, that's why you want. Uh... Okay, he needs a second. Um, I wonder the, if. He's... Um, I can check the yeah. deck. I wonder if uh, Warshik is not going to send a Kapels. Or Jigers. Yeah. Yeah, yeah th th that was what I was wondering. Um, he's got a mercenary shipment, so he might actually send some mercenaries. Um, Mongo has got the Redcoats. So, uh, quite a strong army right now. Quite wow, yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't even build disciples yet. But where's his hero actually? Oh, it's in the fight. Looks like. Uh, Looks like it's lagging. Seeing a little bit of a lag spike. Yeah. I have not uh, really experienced it. You haven't dropped any frames? I'm no. Uh, for Ops, no. For my, my stuff, I'm like around 40 FPS. Stuff like this. Oh, I just. There are the Black Riders. Okay, so these are. Yeah, it's lagging it's out. Uh... It's lagging out. Let yeah, me check hops. No, no I'm, I'm not losing any frames. In two hours, not losing a single one. I think my connection is fine too. At least my computer is able to handle it easily, and the internet is also fine. 20. Okay, so losing uh, some red coats here to these skirmishers, and that's not really. Yeah, it's lagging a lot. It's lagging a lot. Okay, let's see if they can continue to play, and otherwise we will have to see. Um, both of them are in the dead disadvantage of the flag, so I think it might not be too much of a problem. Uh, losing a lot of fuel lands, here she is, but. Um, sacrificed him, but now he doesn't really have. He does still have anti cavalry, but he's losing his skirmishers to all these uh, meteor hammers, which of course even got a, a little bit of a range. So. Not no skirmishers left for Eurasic basically, only nine. And the Black Rider is not going to do great against the Arcubishiers. So I think Mongo is in a good spot here. Yeah, Mongo is in a good spot. Eurasic has got no hunts left in his base, so he should go there. I hope he's got it. No, he doesn't have it scouted, which is very awkward, but he's going to scout it once he sees this mine. Yeah. Not. If you look at uh, the Fog of War with Control Shift F, you can see. Ah, okay. I, I always wonder what. Okay, yeah. Oops. Yeah. So it just doesn't have its scouted. This is like super awkward. This is. Yeah. And uh, the next hunt is here, but yeah. That's also very dangerous to go there. Okay, so pushing out with... He sent 9 Yulan and now pushing out against this big mass with almost no anti cavalry And the Arcubus here is going down very quickly. The Black Riders doing a lot of damage against the Meteor. And, yeah! And Flying Crown not really but, adding too much in this battle. Of course... They wow, Yulans are doing so well. This was a great comeback, so... Yeah. Almost no anti cavalry for Mongo and... He got punished for it very hard, um, losing his monk here. Well, no, is, is he? Is he? Yes. Going, uh, yeah, he just lost his monk. Great, great. Wow, that was and a nice trade. Arcubisiers. Yeah, definitely. On full on coin, so he. I am almost certain he's going to add Jaegers next, because. He's got only got seven villagers on coin. I don't know where his villagers on coin are. Yeah, on his on berries in his base. The lag. I I don't think I can do anything against it. 
It's weird that it didn't lag previously and right now it's lagging hard. Uh, I've no idea um, how that is happening. I also don't know what we can do against. I mean, uh, both players should be doing their best to make sure they got a good connection and yeah, that's really all they can do. Mongo pushing even a lot of Cheng Dao. He sent 11 of them. Yeah. And he's getting in range of the Black Riders with Cheng Dao. And that's how he lost. I'm gonna try something. There. I'm gonna try something. Wait. I'm gonna try something. Maybe it's going to be better. Uh, I'm on. I don't think it's. I'm around 35 FPS. Okay. Um, we. We. Sorry. We. We. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We ready? Okay. So, hope this is helping. Uh, looks like Jurisic really wants to push out now. Um, he sent eight Yulan. He's still got a Yulan in his base, but he's got a range advantage with his skirmishers. But yeah, you know, he, he got he got the range advantage. Well, he's got Arcubisiers also, so he doesn't really have a big advantage. And now, these Meteor Hammers actually tearing down these Skirmishers. Okay, he found a hunt, by the way. So that's cool. Oh, cool. Okay. Um, so this fight, the Yulan are tearing through the units. On the other hand, the Changdao are very cost-efficient. Yeah, Changdao are, are, are doing... Units. Wow, it's going well for Mungo Ten. The red coat. Okay. Those red coats were in melee against the Yulans. I didn't even see them in that big fight. And those did a lot of melee damage. And now basically Eurystick's army is dead and Mongo still got 30 units. Uh, mostly Arquebusiers which aren't great at sieging. But... Um... For free for Mongo. Now he's got some more siege potential. And these villagers are just so dangerous. Uh, yeah, let's see but what your chick is gonna do here. I, I don't know. I think your chick is in trouble. Yeah, definitely. I think he's in trouble. Uh, he's popped. He doesn't have the resources. Um, I think. I mean, I I don't see how I can win this right now. Um, kind of GG. He's gathering coins, so maybe he wants to go for some. Yeah, Jaggers. Here we go. We got Jaggers. Okay. Jaggers and more wagons. wagons and oh yeah. Out. So he's got the anti cavalry. He's got the anti infantry. Both of them, like population, right? So twenty six population of Jaggers. And 15 of war wagons. And now minute men are out. So this is definitely go time for Yurishik. Is he able to actually kill off this army? If he protects his Jaegers well, but there's so many cavalry units of China. Yeah, but okay. we're gonna are, are doing so well. Wow, wow! Okay, five Yulans flanking out of the stable directly on the flying crowds and wow. later the Arkansas. So, those five Yulans definitely doing a good job. They're still Chang Dao and Redcoats though. So it's those perfect for. Yo, wow, Jurassic did a super good job here. Don't forget that Jagger's doesn't count in your score, so. He's not, he's not far behind. He's not far behind, definitely. Uh, it's kind of a semi economic population. He uh, is popped actually, and let's see wow. if these villagers can be saved. He doesn't have a great coat, so one volley of Archibusiers definitely takes down a villager. But now he needs to go back from these Jaegers, so. Wow, he lost only one. He lost yeah. just one VM. I would like but to see. I would like to see Eurasic raiding super hard right now with his Yulans. Like, go Eurasic, yeah. you, you got to raid. Just it's the only thing you can here. do. And yeah. kill ten vils here and kill kill another ten vils. 
Okay, five tops. <laughs> wow. China got only one cavalry unit, so he cannot come back from any raids. Like this village is not even able to hold so many villagers. I think yeah, correct. Correct. Many. How many? Twenty or twenty-five? Maybe. I think twenty. I think twenty only. Okay. Uh, we're gonna see battle here. I'm actually going to research it. So I really hope. We're going to see uh, uh Jurassic it's, it's the only possibility he has to raid. Uh he wins the cup battle and he knows it. Okay, five tops now here. Markets coming up, finally. And this hunt thing is running out. Yes, uh, actually... And then, he still got this hunt, but after that, nothing. Yeah, this is the only... Oh, uh, China has got no... Yeah, this, this is the only hunt on the map, uh, which yeah. is remaining. And then China they got, got to go... Left. Yeah. Wow, it's going okay. to be. Um, I think these Jaegers doing so much damage, but these meteor this armor is really tiring too. Yeah, meteor armor are, are really scary. Yeah, and uh, now no more anti-country is left, and these meteor armor doing so so great against these Jaegers. Five more Yulan are now in, but is it going to be enough against this big cavalry yeah, it's, mass? It, it, it's not enough. It's not and enough. there it is, the GG, okay. GG, GG. and now it's 2 to 0 for Mongo 10. So you should update the score. Yeah, definitely yeah. interesting game. But uh, I feel like Mongo was ahead like from the start. He did really good in the second age, and from there he just went in a very good third age position. I think that um, this. Start H2 uh, hurt a lot Eurasic. Uh Yeah, usually when you play versus China, you want to to kill some villains H2 to, to have some advantage. And that wasn't the case. Let's check population of villagers. It's kind of the same of the game. Russos is covered. It's a bit better for Eurasic Because he had uh, market upgrades. Yeah. should check. Military population, uh, we see that China was far more cost effective. Yeah, definitely. Of course, Chinese units are cheap but cost effective, and uh, the German units are very strong but population heavy and also resource heavy. Okay, so hold on a second because the, the series is not finished yet, so. Uh, what is the next the next series? Uh, I think. Let me check a second. I think it's, the next series. Um, Nation Bar versus. No, wait a second. That's going to be for Justice versus Stanley Winston. Okay. Uh, It'll be starting in like three minutes, but perhaps. Uh, are you, by the way, going to stream it? Uh, yeah, I had to stream it with Riz with Crazy. So, you are got to pick. Okay. Locked. Ah. No. Okay, no. so... So, it's not, it's not, Mongo 10, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but, uh, now, every, every player, yeah, it's alternative, right. We. Oui. It's indeed, yeah.
So from the moment Jurassic won the first game, it was set in stone that Jurassic would have to pick game number two and four. Correct. And Mongo pick game three and five. But there is the civilization restriction is now gone, I believe. Yes, yes. Um, basically, what that means in the best of five, you have to play three different civilizations in the first three games, and then after that, so in the fourth and fifth game, you can play any civilization again once. So yes. not two two times French anymore, but you can play like French and German if you've played them before, if you have in the first three games. So. Let's see what Jurassic will pick. It is the map Kamchakta. Classic map, I guess. It's the one we saw in group stages also. So, played a lot by every member. Yeah, it's it's probably the most famous map. Yeah, definitely. It's the one with the Garja coats, as they're called. <laughs> well, actually, Chic needs to think about it for a minute. Mm -hmm. Yeah, can it's you fine. can we try to to call each other on Skype, please? Because I think my computer holds better Skype than this code. Okay. Uh, do you have me on Skype? I think so, right? Mm -hmm. Are you in the um, Isoc Spring casting Skype? Yes, or? yes, yes. Okay, call me there. Okay, we see each other on on Skype. Yes, sure. Okay, so waiting for Eurasic. Wait a second, uh, I'm going to call back the Holland. Uh... Uh, brown boy drop. I think it's going to be better for the players. Yeah. Hey! Hi. Okay, the sound is not working. Yeah, the sound is not working. Oh dear. I got an issue. 
Wait, wait, wait. Uh, wait, I, I'm losing every sound. Wait a second. Hey! Ere? Ere? What's up? Okay, I'm losing just my yes. headphones, it's dying. What's happening? Your headphone is dying? Uh. Wait. Ede, you hear me? Yeah, I do. Uh, wait a second. Um, my headphone just died. Uh, it's kinda horrible. Um, okay. Okay, can you talk, please? I'm talking, talking right, right now. now. Hello, okay. can you hear me? Okay. That's success. Yeah, it's okay. It's working please well. Please add me as a contact, contact by the way. Yeah, I think it's working well. Uh, okay, so here we go. Um, Can you add me? Yeah, yeah, wait a second. Uh, okay. I'm kind of in trouble. Um, wow. Okay, go. We. Oui. Wow, it's sad. Yeah, my yeah, uh, I think I'm not going to be able to co-cast for for next series. Uh, well, um, let's just go into this game, ladies and gentlemen. Um, this is game number four in Eurasic versus Mongo at best of five in the Spring Championships 2017, the round of 32. And we're going to see Ottoman versus Japanese on Kamchatka. Um, one of the more aggressive sips versus one of the more like, can you call defensive, uh, more turtling sips? Yeah, uh, I think this matchup is uh, Ottoman's oh. favorite. Looks like he forgot to record the game, so perhaps we'll have to do a quick rehost. Yeah, and should save our analysis <laughs> for then. Is everything okay with your headphone? Uh, no, I just, my headphone just, I think, died or so. Wasn't working at all. Um, so I'm playing without headphones, but it's not, it's not great, it's not optimal. Can you check if... Sounds so if sound is okay on the chat so because I, I got to set up everything different. Okay. Sorry for the trouble guys. Ladies and gentlemen, now going into the fourth game in Yurishik versus Mongo. 
and this is a best of five, so um, it's on match point for Mongo 10. He's two games up versus one, and this is of course for the ESOC Spring Championships 2017, the round of 32. We're going to see Ottoman versus Japanese, and uh, yeah. Uh, interesting matchup. Uh, there is of course the goats on this map, which are very good for Japanese for their shrines. Um, there's also also the trade post, relatively close to the base, which is good for Ottoman. The and uh, yeah, it's one of the more aggressive versus one of the more uh, defensive turtling shifts. Yes, exactly. And, uh, we we got we yeah. got really aggressive uh, aggressive sieve, which is Ottomans, and uh, we got we got a defensive sieve, which is uh, Japanese. Um, yeah, so it's it's really interesting what we are going to see here. Yeah, definitely, and um, looks like. Yeah, Mongo scouting with his two monks and with his orchard. Uh, of course, he's using one orchard to gather from and the other one to scout. Um, and with that, he can scout goats like this one, for example. Correct, Picking correct. Up 40 wood, right at the start. Um, I'm wondering why he isn't going to the center, because he knows Ottoman is going to build a trade post first, so he can easily get this 50 wood from the center, but now it's going to be contested perhaps. So I would like to see him go to the center at the start. There is a bit of an echo, um, so that's perhaps because I'm coming out of your speakers. Uh, there is some kind of echo, wow. Uh, yeah, wait, wait a second. Um, His... Idioland, Idioland, can we come back to Discord, please? I think uh, I okay. think Skype is is just messing everything. Yeah, sure. I'm still in the same group. So okay, coming. To switch, then we're fine. Um, I'm Wait. just gonna. Um. Okay, guys, I'm just sorry, I got to fix this problem. Uh, micro. I'll... Just terrible. Okay, it seems better now. Just calling back Mark. Uh, sorry, just got to fix. Uh, this shit since my headphone size. Okay, so Eurashik is going to age up right now uh, with uh, 800 food. Uh, meanwhile, Mongotan is got 450 food. Uh, okay. Okay. Um. Hey. Yeah, I'm here. Sorry. I uh, just came back. I think it's better now. Um. Sorry, sorry, just for you guys for these two minutes, it was a bit in trouble, my, my headphones. Okay, so, yeah, I was saying that Yurashik was aging, aging too, uh, at a decent age of time. Uh-huh. Exactly, exactly. Uh, what I wonder is that Eurashik is not chopping any wood, as you can see, so it's probably going to make a fast fortress.
Uh, yeah, yeah, it's it's okay for Japan. Uh, I didn't see the the starting crates. It was uh, wood, right? Wood, wood starting crates. Oh no, no, no! It was food. I think it was food. Yeah, I think. Uh, I think let's check, but there is a, 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 Schma, a, a Schmoas build, build. I don't know if you remember this player, Schmoas. Uh, it's a Chinese player. Oh, Japan. No, Japanese player. Japanese player, sorry. Shimras, yeah, Shimras. And. And so you, you go 400 wood age up, build a second CP and your research stage coach. Uh. I'm not sure it's working well versus versus Japan, but we will see. We will see. And yeah, as you mentioned, as you mentioned, Mongo Ten base is really nice uh, built. Man, I think Urashi goes H4. He sent 700 food after 700 coin. Yeah, and building a second TP. Hmm. Yeah, look, look, look. I think, yeah, I think he goes H4. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, that's the issue. The issue is that you let Japan booming safely and not sure it's it's a good thing. Yeah, he's aging with all your sauce. Mm. I you I muted you. Wow. Oh guys, I'm sorry. Uh Wow wow wow. Don't know why I muted you. I'm I I'm on Discord. Wow. Uh. I think I think it's working now. Yeah, I think it's working now. Wow. Sorry. <sighs> Sorry guys, just my headphones fuck everything. Okay, so now I'm unmuted. Yeah, you are unmuted. I was talking mainly about revolution, <laughs> how yeah. it has search could be an option and I was talking about how he can get to H4 very safely he's not going to get rushed by any units but on the other hand he is allowing Mongo to go H3 and allowing Mongo to get a huge ego so it's not like it's completely not dangerous it's just like he's not going to lose his town center or, or lose any villagers I mean Mongo is fine in his base so he's not in danger yeah he's fine yeah, and he's shipping 1k wood, which is uh, the wood required for for going revolution. Okay. Wow. It's going to be a funny game. So he's edging with 1k gold, sending 1k wood, and gathering 1k food. Okay, so. Yeah, 1k wood now here, and it, 
this might actually be a revolution. Yeah, it is, it is. It's definitely a revolution. It's definitely a revolution. He aged up with four hussars. Now he's aging up with 1000 coin. Uh, he's going to use that coin to exactly get the revolution, only gathering food to build more Minutemen or. Uh, what are these called again? The. Um, units like basically villagers with uh, a weapon and he's going to send also eight hussars probably so um, he's but going I, to have a I'm lot not of sure material. I'm not sure I mean are you sure when you revolution your ursars are, are age up automatically the ursars you got on the map What did you say? Sorry? Uh, uh, I say that, are you sure that when you go revolution, uh, your H4 SRs are going to yeah. to be Imperial yeah. too? Yeah, you get the the Imperial upgrade, so all your existing users and newly made users also get the upgrade. And, oh, okay. Um, I, I've used this strategy before, like on Deccan games where I was trolling and try to go to H4 as soon as possible. Now he's yep. got 12 hussars, and wow. um, he's now doing revolution. He should be going forward first, probably. Wow, okay, man. He's got 22 imperial hussars and 21 colonial militia. Um, first thing Mongo does, of course, is go back. These imperial hussars, 60 hand attack, 40 siege, 640. Man, points. think about taking, well, having at 11 minutes that much imperial hussars. It's just insane. Yeah, this is total insanity. On the other hand, Mongo has got disciplined Ashigaru behind a wall. So I don't know how he's going to use these hussars effectively. I don't know. I, I think he, he got he got to break the walls first. He needs to go on the other yeah, side. Perhaps a, a wall or maybe the market he can siege with like more units at a time. And it's a bigger gap. Yeah, and but right now, a bit more, a bit yeah, more here we go, here we go, perfect, this is right, exactly right So he's right just move. going to siege it, going to brute force his way in. Okay, here we go. Okay. Okay, <laughs> so Imperial Hussars killing off all, a lot of villagers, not really getting to the Ashikari though, so Ashikari in a great spot between the town center and all the other buildings. Um, on the other hand, Imperial Hussars are just so tough to break. Yeah. And, uh, okay, looks like there's a lot of lag, I'm not yeah, quite sure. Yeah, it's really laggy. It's really laggy, which really sucks for this this epic battle. Uh, I don't know if the Imperial Hussars are going to be enough, there are just so many disciplined Ashikari, still 25 of them left. And looks like they will just deal with these Imperial Hussars and the Colonial Militia not really adding too much. So... This is really awkward and now I think Yurushik doesn't really have anything. Yeah, it doesn't have anything to do. Uh, the only thing you can do is send uh, the organ gun types, uh, Gatling guns. Ex yeah, exactly. here, here we go, here we go, you got, you got, them. got them. Yeah, but Gatling guns are not so great. Uh, and, um, probably the Ashikaris can just walk up to the Ashi Gatling guns and kill them off. But he killed, uh, he killed uh, 17 villagers, man. Well, it's not. Well, he got zero, but <laughs> that's still. Yeah, it's now forty eco pop versus zero. Yeah. And the military unit population is actually the same, so Mongo is totally fine here. I don't think Yurushi can do enough damage. Like, how is he going to kill off all shrines and all the villagers over the map? He cannot. With he cannot. few Gatling guns. He cannot. He. Cannot. he Probably uh, Mongo is adding some uh, units from his stable now. Let's see units in queue. Okay. I was expecting a little bit of cavalry, but nothing yet. 
No, 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 okay, it's just so me. He just sent 16 more cloning militia. Wow, though, Rurashic Mass right now is a bit scary. Uh, and I don't know, I think Gatling Guns are really crappy. Let's see what their stats are. They aren't, they aren't crappy, man. They are, they are decent, they are decent, really. I don't know if he's ever gonna get down this town center. Oh, he's killing off villagers actually, not even going for the town center. Yeah. Now going for Yumi and such, but I think Mongo should be able to just walk up to them, but maybe uh, try to do some damage with town center. Now he's just trying to walk up to them. Let's see if he's going to do enough damage. Just going straight wow. to the Gatling guns. Killing them off. One volley kills one of the Gatling guns. And the second volley kills off the rest. And now it's GG. GG. Congratulations, Mongo10. Um, 3 to 1 game. So, Mongo10 winning this best of 5 in a round of 32 of this championships. Very exciting games, had a lot of fun. But Mongo came out as the winner in this last uh, kind of. Exciting uh, revolution strategy, yeah. but uh, not yeah. meeting the Japanese. Um, Jurassic is fair play. I like it a lot. Uh, say GG to Mongo. Good luck for the next round. It's cool to see players acting like this. Um, so the timing was really awesome. Uh, wow, revolution at 10 minutes and 46 seconds. <laughs> You're chic talking about Mongo with uh, about the China game coming into the cheese China. Yeah, a little bit of banter between the players here. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think that was it for today. Um, uh, at least for us and for the series, of course. There are a lot more series to come. Uh, we have Four Justice versus Stanley Winston, Blackstar OP versus Five One Two Three Four Five Six. King of Osmain versus the Conqueror 999. But that's not going to be casted by me. And 